Hello everyone, Ryan here once again, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to add support for NVIDIA's DLSS slash DLAA, AMD's FSR, and Intel's XESS in Skyrim Special Edition. So to achieve this, we're going to be using the Skyrim Upscaler mod. And this is a mod that does require the Skyrim Special Edition script extender, I meaning it's only going to work with the Steam version of Skyrim, and not the one that's included as part of the Microsoft Game Pass. Okay, so the first step in the process is to install the Skyrim Special Edition Script Extender or SKSE. Now you can download the latest version of this from the official website and what you want to do is make sure that you download the correct version for your installation. For example, in my particular case, I'm going to be downloading the Anniversary Edition. Once this is downloaded, you want to extract the archive as usual and then open up the archive and take a copy of all the files and folders that are inside. And what I'm going to do is paste this into the game's installation directory. Now in most cases you'll find it stored at C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Garage Special Edition, and then paste it in this directory here. If you get a prompt to overwrite anything, then go ahead and confirm that. Now one final thing I do recommend you do is this file here, this SKSE64 loader, make a shortcut to that. I tend to put it on my desktop. And what this allows you to do is run the game with the script extender enabled. In that case, I've already done this ahead of time. I've put a nice little icon and I've renamed it as well. The second step in the process is to install the dependencies as well as choose any upscaling method. Now, the Skyrim Upscaler mod does have two hard dependencies that need to be installed for it to work. And the first one on this list is the address library for SKSE plugins. Once again, what you need to do is go to Files and then choose to download the version that applies to your system. In my case, I've got the Anniversary Edition of Skyrim installed, so I'm going to go for this option here. Once that's downloaded, extract the folder, same as last time. And you want to take a copy of the folder inside, which case says SKSE. So I'm going to paste this into my Downloads folder, just so I can manage it a bit later on. So the second dependency we have to download is the Upscaler Base plugin. So once again, you want to go to Files, and then Download Manually. Again, extract the folder and take a copy of the upscaling base plugin folder. Once again, I'm just going to paste it into my downloads. So at this point, we need to choose the upscaling technology that we want to use with Skyrim. For example, if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, specifically a 2030s or 40 series, then you're going to be choosing the option to use DLSS slash DLAA. Alternatively, if you've got AMD as your GPU, you're probably going to choose FSR. And then finally, if you've got Intel, then you're going to fit XESS. Now, technically, you can use FSR for all three of these GPU manufacturers, but I would say in the case of NVIDIA, you'll find that DLS is far superior in most cases. However, since I have an RTX 3060 Ti, I'm going to go for the DLS slash DLLA option. Now, you can find download links for all these libraries at the bottom of the description tab of the Upscaler Base plugin mod page if you scroll about halfway down. So, let's go for the option here, which is DLSS slash DLLA. And I'm going to go for the version 2.5.1. Once again, once that's downloaded, extract the folder. And we'll take a copy of this DLL inside here, the DLSS one. We're going to copy that. And we're actually going to paste it inside the folder that says Upscaler Base Plugin. And you'll notice this the right one because it'll say PD Preference Plugin DLL as well. So the final step in the process is to actually install the Skyrim Upscaler mod itself. We've now covered the dependencies as well as choosing an upscaling model, so we can finally get on to installing the Skyrim Upscaler mod. Once again, if you want to click on the File tab here, and then choose the option here for Manual Download. You'll get a prompt here to the two dependencies, but we've already sorted these out, so we can click Download. Once again, let's go to the Downloads folder and extract the archive, and take a copy of the SKSE folder inside. Let's paste that back into the Downloads folder. So what we need to do now is take a copy of the Upscaler Base plugin as well as the SKSE folder and then paste it into the, the game's data folder. Now, for most people this is going to be located at C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition and then Data inside here. You want to paste it inside of here. You'll likely get a prompt here to overwrite files so click yes to that. So at this point everything's installed and ready to go, so let's launch the game and I'm going to cover how to use the Skyrim Upscaler. Okay, so the first step is to actually use the Skyrim Upscaler mod. 
Now, whilst in the game, if you press the end button or the end key on your keyboard, this will bring up the Skyrim Upscaler settings application. So from here, you can enable or disable the mod. You can choose the option to apply some sharpness to the fa to finalize the image. And from here, you can choose your upscaling type. In my case, I've got DLSS, DLAA, as well as TAA. I tend to just stick with uh, DLA for this because it gives it a nice sharpened image. But if you do choose DLSS, you've got the option to choose your quality type. In most cases, you're probably going to choose balance, but you do have the option for performance, quality, or ultra performance. So let's set it to what we want. And then we'll close that down. So in terms of performance, at least in my particular system, I've not really found that it's made all that much of a difference. I mean, let's be honest, Skyrim is quite an old game at this point. However, if you've got several like high graphic texture packs installed, then you might find it could be the difference between you being able to play the game and then not being able to play the game. That being said, I do recommend that if you do have a modern NVIDIA GPU, then at least just enable DLA as it does make the game look a lot more crispy. So in conclusion, the Skyrim Upscaler mod is a fantastic way to squeeze some extra performance out of your system, especially if you have a lower spec machine, or maybe you've got several high resolution texture maps installed. But as always guys, thanks for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.